I've, I've been a big fan of the Cirque shows over the years, and there's a, a very dreamlike quality that they have, where there's, there is a thin thread of narrative that weaves in and out, but allows these acts to exist within the worlds that are created, and the narrative keeps you interested. And I really, I thought, well, this movie could be the same thing. I could find a narrative that threaded these completely different shows together. And, and really the story just popped up like that, which is really the story of these, uh, these two people who meet in a real world circus. She instantly falls in love with this young aerialist. When their eyes meet, he slips and falls, and he falls basically through the ring into another world and drags her in with him. And, and then it really becomes the two of them looking for each other in these, you know, these limbo worlds, or these worlds that exist in a limbo space. And it's kind of a space between life and death. And so these two young characters are looking for each other through the worlds of Cirque, and ultimately come together in sort of a, a Cirque act as well. It's a film that takes you into the Cirque shows in a way that you haven't seen them before. I mean, one of the things is we didn't want to replace what happens in a live show, and there is no way to replace what happens in a live show. We also didn't want to just capture the live show because you can see that and there are already existing videos. What we wanted to do is take the audience to see these shows in a way that they haven't seen it before and get the camera in close to see what these artists do, high speed, slow motion, 3D, and really give a different perspective, but also to take you more into the world. Uh, for instance, in this theatre in Car, when you're an audience member sitting here, in here, the theatre surrounds you. We wanted the movie to have the same effect so that you're actually travelling with these two characters we've got to know and you're partly in their point of view and you're actually within each of the Cirque worlds. I would contemplated using actors for these roles, but I also knew that I wanted to end with some kind of beautiful, romantic, aerial kind of act. So basically we talked to Cirque about who was available, who they thought could act and who could perform something wonderful on straps at the end. And that's really how Igor and Erica came to us, as being able to sort of fill all those roles. It's a movie that will have an emotional through line. You know, I think uh, that this romantic story that goes throughout, the sort of wish fulfillment story that goes throughout, is kind of a universal story. But on top of that, there's a lot of spectacle. And there's moments within it, because the narrative is, is slightly non-linear, there's moments where we allow the audience to enjoy the spectacle, and there's moments where we bring them back into the emotional journey. But I think mainly it's the, it's the emotional journey that I want them to kind of stay with. Jim has been great. Um, he came in, um, you know, we'd started talking with Cirque and so on, and Jim had also been talking with Cirque, and it was just a really great marriage. For me, it was fantastic. I'd never shot a 3D film before, and I knew that the start of this would be a learning experience and kind of figuring out, and that's one of the reasons I wanted to do it. To have the person who's probably the most experienced 3D filmmaker in the world not only step in and offer advice, but basically operate as everything from an executive producer to a cameraman to a DP has been fantastic. And it's ended up being a really great collaboration that uh, I couldn't have been happier with. I think doing this in 3D is again offering the audience a different experience. I mean, obviously the acts are all very dimensional. The amount of travel, if you, if you consider an aerial straps act, one of the things about it that's amazing is it's beautiful and dangerous at the same time. A lot of these performances, a lot of what Cirque does, exists in a contradiction. And I think that's what makes it really special. If I watch Igor and Erica up in the air, 40 feet up in the air, doing something that looks elegant, simple and romantic, but you know is actually physically difficult and incredibly dangerous, it, it's that kind of juxtaposition that makes it really interesting. I think you capture that much better on 3D you get a much greater sense of space. You can bring them right close to you and you can take them right away and you get a sense of the danger and the distance traveled.